Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's bright and early, daily discipline, mind, body, and soul. This is how we get through. Go check out my website at skyazrael.com if you want life coaching or mentoring. Let's get into today's topic. I want to talk about the root of the problem, getting down to the root cause of what's wrong with you. This is how we diagnose any problem. If you bring me a motorcycle, you can tell me the symptoms, but we have to get down to the root. We have to get down to what's causing it. Sure, you may have blown a fuse, but we can't just replace the fuse. We have to figure out what blew the fuse. We have to trace the, the problem to its beginning, to its source. Very often, the source is nothing major. It's, a lot of times, it's really nothing. A little solenoid can continually blow your circuit all the time and yeah, you just replace a five, six, seven dollar part. But you have to know what the cause is. When you're thinking about your addiction, you're an alcoholic, you're a drug addict. One of the ways to get past addiction, obviously is lifestyle management. There's a lot of lifestyle management involved with getting past addiction. One of the first things I tell motherfuckers that are addicted is get your ass in the gym. Start learning some discipline. Start getting into a mind, body, and soul relationship with yourself. But we have to get down to the root cause. When I thought about my own addiction, I was a drug addict and an alcoholic for a long time. I went sober in the year 2001. It was, uh, geez, February 13th, 2001. That was my sober date, the day I was reborn, <laughs> the day my new life started. I had never really analyzed, and I went to therapy for this shit, I never really analyzed why I became an addict. I was always just treating the fact that I was. Well, I'm an addict, and let's treat this, and let's try to get over this. I have daily symptoms, I have this problem, that problem, but why did I get the, how did I get this way to begin with? What drove me to this way back when I was a teenager? My drug addiction started as a kid. I started robbing people for crack. I was in a gang. We were robbing people, people for crack. Drug dealers. Crack dealers are the best to rob. Crack dealers are the easiest and best people to rob. We would hit these motherfuckers hard. Bust into their crack houses. Fucking put everybody on the fucking floor. We would do that shit at 16, 17. I realized that a series of internal weaknesses had led me to doing drugs to begin with. Loneliness, it was a little combination, a little salad of things. Depression, anxiety, Drugs and alcohol, the feeling of euphoria, of getting fucked up, often takes away anxiety. It doesn't take away the problem, it just takes away your anxiety around it, so you don't worry about it anymore. Many of these problems might need a little bit of attention, but if you're not worried about it and you're just checked out, ah, who cares? That shit just gets worse and worse and worse. After just simply starting off by avoiding my problems through avoidance, looking for an escape. I ended up with mental illness. You can, you can end up that way. I ended up a full-blown drug addict and alcoholic. Thank God I drank myself into a liver problem. That's what stopped me being in the hospital, almost dying, and that was not fun. I couldn't eat for, what was it, 15 days? All I could do was melt ice cubes in my mouth, didn't drink any actual sips of water or anything, just melt ice cubes. Bathroom floor, completely naked for 15 days, puking, shitting, bile coming out of everything, just on the floor, just shivering and sweating. And I did that for 15 days straight. Lost 25 pounds. I go down to the root cause of my addiction. I go all the way back to childhood traumas, unprocessed emotions, events that didn't get figured out properly, that stayed with me, that hurt me, lessons that I didn't get taught that 
caused me anxiety things that I didn't understand maybe because I was too young or too dumb gave me anger and depression issues and all of that led me to addiction you have to understand the root of, of what it is of what got you there there was a before time try to remember back to that before time before the anxiety was there a time before the anxiety can you remember was it when you were four was it when you were three try to remember back before the the shit went down before the the problem before when you were fine when everything was cool in your life the before time what changed what day was it what what happened did, did something external happen or did you respond internally to an event and just sit down and decide now I'm sad and sometimes when a motherfucker decides he's sad he like chisels that into his fucking into like a wall you know it just chisels it into your soul and you could be sad for 10 years Figure out what, what happened. Trace those wires back to the source. When you find the root cause of the problem, it's a lot easier to fix it. I've found with my personal experience with this that when I go into my anger, I have anger issues, and I try to figure out what made me so angry very often times it's something simple. I realize, okay, well, I felt attacked. I felt threatened. I didn't like this or that aspect of how that person came at me. And I get down to the root and I say, well, why? You always have to ask yourself why. Just continually ask yourself why until there's no more whys to ask. Well, and then I can say, well, then why did that make me angry? And I can respond to myself with these conversations, you know, well, it just did. I don't like when people treat me that way. Why not? Because I deserve to be treated better. Why? Because I was treated bad and I feel like I deserve, I, I was treated bad my whole life and I feel like I finally deserve some sort of uh, respect. Why? You know, just keep asking yourself why. You will get to the bottom. You will get down to, into that area where you may feel uncomfortable and you'll find very often it's just so simple. A little pat on the head, a little hug to that inner child and everything, it, shit clears up and you're not very sad anymore. Ten years of sadness just kind of fade away when you've gotten to the root. And you're like, oh, well, that's all it is? Have you ever settled an argument for kids? And they can be really upset. Oh my God. And you settle it and you say, okay, well, what happened? And you get down to the cause of exactly what the, where was it when things went bad? And it's oftentimes so silly, but it's a big deal to them. And you can settle it and you can say, well, you see, and you tell them, you see, and they're like, yeah. And then they're happy again, playing like nothing ever happened. We have to do this with ourselves. It's just simple diagnostic work. It's food for thought. Thanks for watching.